Don't you like video games, comic books? Um, there is a lot of comic books. They were gonna eBay out, but if you want the lot. Yeah, yeah guys, I see them. Okay, this is gonna be a good understanding for you. How much are the plushes? The bag of plush? Um, five. five for the bag? That's cool. What do you guys have on the... Um, oh, it's broken? Oh, I see now. Oh, I didn't know it was broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you guys know where they set up places? Or? What'd you say? Do you guys set up and sell places? No, we just house. Oh, gotcha. Any like video games, comic books? Um, there is a lot of comic books. They were gonna eBay out, but if you want the lot, yeah, yeah guys, I see them. Mom, where are the comic books? Where are them? they? Yeah, they're at my house. Oh, they're at your house. Gotcha. I uh, was interested in this if you had any comic books for sale. Do you know how old they are or where they're from? Any chance? Um, how far is it from here? Half a mile. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me look around here first and then I, I'll be more than welcome to do that. Okay. Do you have any idea what you're asking for him? I'm going to go ask my friend. Okay. Over here. Okay. What did they use during uh, it, it varies. Like, I mean, it depends on the year, depends on the condition. There's a lot of factors that, that go into them, so. This Bellamy Brothers sweatshirt is actually really cool. I couldn't find any comps online for it, so I'm assuming it's gonna be anywhere from 25 to 50 bucks. How much are the clothes? Dollar piece. Dollar
Does it have a lot of people come by so far? Yesterday. Gotcha. I don't know if it's the bike thing today or Friday as the yard sale day. There's a couple what? different community sales, Wesleyan Village and Yesterday morning was a board and then it's gone downhill. Do you do records too or just comic books? Um, I try to stay away from records, but I do do records sometimes. Depends what it is. Any idea who, who signed these? No. No? Sam, did you see my football? <laughs> Laura, is this your football or Jeff? This little girl yeah. is the money. Do you want two, one or two bucks for that? All right, I'll do that. Okay. That's fine. We have to get rid of it today. <laughs> okay. It's all going. Ram, go get the money. Little girls, this is their deal. Okay. Don't leave your money box there. The district's gone. You're your money box. So three bucks? Yep, that'll do it. All right, perfect. Thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. And you said that you did, do you know any, any, do you know any information on the comic book or anything like that? Archie, I don't yeah. They're good books. They're Are they, do you know the like, age or like no, time frame? No, but they kept them in plastic. Okay. So I just don't know. I just saw some like the books over there had like water damage. Oh. Are they okay, in there? So, so I don't tear them apart. In that bag right there, I got This something. bag right here? That one. And the rest of this stuff's trying. Yeah, I don't want that to fall. 
Yeah, let's see here. Uh, yeah, just there's something I can I just don't wanna Okay. This will give me a good understanding for you. So I don't know if why they were in two different batches. I found them in different ways. Uh so G.I. Joe, this okay, so these are eighties. So okay. that's that's like eighty four. This is probably about eighty seven, yep. See when you look at combo books, what you want to look for is they call spine ticks on the side and stuff like that. I so have no idea. Yeah, let me see what else we got here. So Black Panther. Oh, so yeah, these are older ones. Yeah, late seventies, early eighties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, these are gonna have a little value to them. What she, do you think that she should take them or sell them if you're not taking them? Um, I mean, probably put it a lot and put it on eBay. Okay. That's what I would. I mean, I would probably end up doing with those. And then you don't um, have to put a price. Yeah, you put them in a um, What I would do is just take multiple, so situations like this, if you don't, what I do, so I sell a lot too on eBay and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and if you don't know the price of something like this, mm -hmm. what I would do is I would take a lot of good photos and then put it up for auction and just let the auction dictate the price. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Which would it be advantageous to set a, you know, like minimum price? That I wouldn't. No? No, nah, it's just most of the time the deterrent and stuff like that. And the minimum price and like, the condition these yeah. these are ripped i mean there's if you look right there there's on the staple there's rust in the staple well, you know, the other batch, yeah so these were under the window and the other batch was not so yeah. i don't know if it's in any better shape yeah, you go so you see now these are newer this is 90s right here so my husband, this is my 80s brought down all his comics when we uh, moved down here and I so is that damage out. to the book or is that on the actual paper in the house and I had a Okay, it's on there. Get to the bathroom, the bedroom, and the kitchen. So I offered him $20,000 to take all his comics. Wow. Uh, and I was like, yeah, see, these are, these are yeah. damaged pretty good. Oh yeah, these are. That's, yeah. Like these, these are, these are junk. Cause I mean, look at the condition of that one. Okay. Like been well yeah, like. Yeah, so I, I mean, just found these today under yeah. The window. So what a lot of people do is like I do is I get comics professionally graded, but none of these are actually capable of being graded. Just do the condition right. of them and stuff like that. So these are what we call reader copies, where yeah. people would just they buy them to read them or fill in a collection. See, this one has water damage all to it inside. Yeah. Sure yeah. How many more did you see are at the... Um, this many. This many? Okay. And I'm going to say they don't have water damage. Okay. Yeah, these are... Deeper we go down here, these are a little... You want that scale? I got some at home. Maybe. They're in plastic. But. Oh, yeah. ZZ Top Crap. The Who. Stuff I grew up with. Me too. I think I saw a Loretta Lee somewhere. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Anna in with Park. those ones. Like one of first, the yeah, Park. she was in there with the hoop. <laughs> I mean, vinyl's coming back. Yeah, it is. You know, crazy. You know the Who concert in the 70s where the people died? Oh, yeah, I saw both of them. Oh, wow. It's newer, it's newer. It's got the CD, I don't have the LP, but uh, I do got some of his LP. Yeah, these are all. Thank you. I mean, I would be interested in them. Um, I can see what else you have, too, because you may have something. There's nothing in here, I would say. There's no like major, what they call keys or first appearances that I see. Okay. Um, I like his music, but man, to watch him play. 
this one right here is probably about a ten dollar book or so based on the condition um uh, maybe not maybe not yeah I mean, I would make you an offer, see what else you have. Um, if you want to put, put these would back you in your... Would take that batch? Yeah, I would take that batch, depending. Um, what I can do is, have, why don't you put this in your car, okay. take it with us, and then uh, maybe we can make a bat, maybe make a deal for all of them. Yeah. Depending. Yeah. Oh, no, that's okay. Let's all right, you just lead the way. That's what I was gonna ask you. Do you guys is that what you guys normally do? Buy houses and stuff like this? Yeah, but not hoarder houses. Oh, gotcha. Oh wow, you got some definitely wet. All right, so these are not wet. Okay. So I was right. That pack I just found this morning. Gotcha. Was there any other comics that you think in the house, or is this it? I don't think so. I mean, there could be anything in that house. <laughs> so it was this high to your nose. No pathways. So. No bed. No table. Uh, it took me a day to get the porch, which is small, off, and a day so I could open the front door. So my uh, my dad, I'm originally from Pennsylvania. My dad used to have a hauling tree service business, and we used to clear out. Um, we used to have a couple deals with some lawyer offices when someone would pass away. They know next of kin, and I can't tell you how many horror houses oh. that I, I cleaned out in the past. They did not throw away trash. Yeah. They are containers. There would be con makeup containers inside of containers, and they were all empty. Yeah. It, it was just <clears throat> beyond gold. Got a lot of GI Joe. GI Joe can bring some some money, so just just, just all in just worn condition. That's all. Because usually when you have comic books, you put a piece of cardboard behind it. It's what they call back to protect it, so it doesn't bend. But yeah, I mean, I'd definitely be interested in these and those. And are these also for sale too? They are. Okay. Am I have to take them out of the bag? I don't care. There's probably more, but I don't know where they are. Oh my god, Metallica? That's my favorite band of all time. <laughs> the record's actually inside. Don't know. This one had three records in it. White, White Snake. snake. Yeah, I don't deal a lot with records, but I do try to pick up old rock when I when I can. Oh, not Patsy Klein and uh, Loretta Lynn. Is that, for, is that in here? I don't think it's in here. No records. Okay. I'm not going to put them back in the plastic. I have new plastic bags. It might be one, it might be one of these other ones. Okay. You see DC. Oh, they found the whole record for a little cookie in there, too. <laughs> that's my my husband found a hundred and twenty dollars that's it and i found nothing but jars of pennies i got four jars of pennies <laughs> i always uh, so when we used to clear houses look underneath the mattresses behind um pictures you know they had the paper back oh, pull that back because they hide money there and then I've, from up north we have basements so in the floorboard and not the floorboards in the a lot of times people's ba basements aren't finished so you would they would have like the the exposed and they would hide it up in there too but yeah, we found we used to find all kind of money all over the time. Well, my husband's good at it. He remodels and he did a house once in the bathroom. He pulled all of the drywall and mm -hmm. the whiteboard in the bathroom. And there's money in the wall. Yeah, I would, I would be interested in the records and uh, the comic books. Do you have like an idea what you were looking for the records at all? No. Want to make me an offer? 
Um, so the combo books is probably, I would say the value of combo books, just based on the condition, you're probably looking at about 100 bucks for your combo books, based on, oh, that's the value. I'd probably give you about, I would offer you like 40 bucks for combo books. Um, and then the records, I, I don't deal with these at all really, so I try to pick them up when I find them, but I don't have any idea really on value on records. Um, I know some of these older rock ones can bring 10, 15 bucks sometimes, or maybe a little bit more, but I don't know what you would feel comfortable with the records. Well, make me an offer. Hmm. What about 60 bucks for everything? Comic books and records? Both sets of comic books? Yeah. 100 bucks for all the records and comic books? Split the difference, 80 bucks? Okay, that's fair. Do you have a 20 on you? I do. Perfect. That's awesome. White Snake, Molly Hatchard, Liver River Band, Johnny Cash, Van Halen, Metallica. Perfect. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you. If you guys come across any other like old toys or um, toys. toys, video game stuff, sports cards. Well, I got bad news for you. All those model cars. Uh -huh. <laughs> We took them all out of the boxes and gave them to my grandson. Oh. All he does is wreck them. Oh. <laughs> but now, I appreciate you working with me. Thank you so much. Let's talk about this pickup that we did. Now, I had no idea what was going on when we got there. The house was in the woods. It was a hoarder's house. The person that owned the house was actually a meth addict that got arrested and went to prison. The bank actually foreclosed on the house. And these people bought the house to repair them and flip them. They have a business where they flip houses. And they bought this house. And when they bought it, it was completely packed with all that items, all those items that you saw outside there. They said they couldn't even walk in the house. So they were doing a two-day yard sale to get rid of everything. I was on my way to drive to Georgia for a pro wrestling show at the time. Uh, this was back in October when we did film this. Now, when it came to the comic books, I do deal in comic books. Normally, these comic books, if they were in good condition, would have been worth hundreds of dollars, but they had water damage to them. They had tons of spine ticks. Nothing was gradable in this entire box. I had no idea what it was getting into or if they were going to be all trash. So that's why I put a lower estimate on them. After reviewing everything, going through, going through everything, the comic books are probably worth about 150 200 bucks max on there. So a lot of them, we have to lot up um, and sell them off. Now, when it comes to the records, I will say that I grossly undervalue those records and I didn't do that intentionally. Records are something I just started selling a couple months ago. I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to the records. I have sold some rock records in the past, usually 10, 15, 20 bucks a piece. What I didn't realize is that the ones that she had there were actually, some of those were actually first press, which is similar to a first print. Um, some of them actually still had the original packaging seals on them, even though they were, they were open and they can actually bring a higher value. These are things I just didn't know, you know, and I put a lower value on these, which was completely wrong, completely off. Also too, due to the location where we were, I couldn't just stop and pull up my phone and look all these up. Okay, the, also too, from where we were location wise, I wasn't getting really good service there, so it wasn't like I could bring up my phone and just look these up. I really had no idea. So sometimes when you are out and about and you, you can't look up comps and you do things, you're gonna either underpay or overpay. And this one, the situation where I just underpaid. So wasn't intentionally trying to to um, lowball her on these items. It just happened that way. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Please let me know down in the comments what your favorite item was on this pickup. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Until next time.